Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Merritt. Thanks for making our appointment today. I am so happy that I am able to review. You guessed it. And you already saw the title, so not a real surprise. But the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation, as well as the concealer. I actually have two of the concealers because because well why not um let's get right into it so juvia's place known for like their super pigmented eyeshadows like i have most of their palettes they they're so bomb you guys so bomb black owned business okay um and they decided to drop complexion products these are the first of their complexion products so i was definitely on board so started talking about the information the foundation has 42 shades 42 shades that is so good coming right out of the gate um, they were definitely trying to cater to a lot of skin tones and they did not miss the mark on that I have the shade 410 Nairobi there are I believe 19 shades deeper than me and the way that it's um, they do the shades the deeper the complexion the lower the number which is kind of reverse how a lot of things do it normally the lighter colors are the lower numbers and as, as the numbers get bigger then the shades get darker but it's kind of in reverse thumbs up to Juvia's Place for that 42 shades in the con excuse me in the foundation the concealers are 24 shades um, I have two of them 13 and 16 and they do the same thing the deeper the complexion the lower the number um, so that is that the foundation will cost $20 right now you can get these products on juviasplace.com and the concealers are $14, so that's not bad at all. So I'll tell you the thing about having so many options that it's difficult to find your shade. Um, or for you to feel confident that you've picked the correct shade. And that's because you don't have anything to swatch right now. It's not in stores. You just kind of have the pictures. Then you have to judge wh how, what factor is lighting in that you know um do they have on any other products and that's one thing i will say about some companies not necessarily juvia's place is that when they post their models wearing their foundation and complexion products that they do a full face of makeup bronzer contour and things like that and it makes it very difficult to judge what the product actually looks like i just feel like put on the foundation if you're doing foundation just put on the foundation do not do anything else and let me be the judge if you're doing concealer just let me see be the let me see the concealer and let me be the judge but that's my rant on to the next um difficult to pick out my shade they had shade finders shade finders are kind of eh, eh, with me um they had a couple i saw a couple of lists like oh if you wear uh this and becca then you're this the tricky thing about that is like i saw okay this is my becca shade boom this should be it i look further down the list oh well wait that's my fenty shade hmm oh wait but that's my MAC shade you know so it's like you may have a lot of things that you can get away with I'll say it that way you have a good chance of getting something that you can pull off but it's hard to find your perfect match so whenever these shades are possibly in Ulta where you can actually swatch them that will be really amazing but if you're like me and you cannot wait that long for it to be in store and you were just trying to get the product because you wanted to see if Juvia's Place was popping with the complexion stuff the way they pop with the shadows then you kind of have to just use your judgment look at the models look at the shade finders look at swatches now that it's kind of out um and people that you may use for shade matches or sh shade references and kind of go from there so the foundation is full coverage full coverage if you're not a full coverage kind of person I don't really even know how you can get this to be anything other than full coverage because a little goes such a long way I made a mistake of kind of uh, squeezing out a little bit too much which too much now in hindsight with other foundations that would have been perfectly fine for my full face the amount that I squeeze out for this absolutely not that was like five faces of foundation that I squeezed out with that little squeeze which brings me to the packaging it does not have a pump it is like you can see this tube um, that you just kind of squeeze out therefore you don't have anything to stop you at least you know you could as much as you hold down only so much product is going to come out of a pump at one time and then you can count oh with this foundation I like one pump with this I like two there's nothing stopping you from just squeezing the whole tube out and it's very hard to gauge but I will say 
um, I would say a pea size amount or a half a pea size for the foundation is definitely enough to get you full coverage. Um, the concealer, the concealers have doe foot applicators. Um, this has 10 ml or 0.34 fluid ounces of product. This is a very big tube if you can't gauge on camera. And the foundation has the standard one fluid ounce of product. So you're not being cheated there and it's very affordable. Um, I think that's kind of all I have to say about this. Um, as you can see, I've, I'm wearing it now, and I really have feelings about it. I'm going to wait to the end, um, but I can't really hide it because I'm smiling a lot, right? So, I like it. If you just want to know, is it good? I think it's good. I think it looks good. I think it blends really well. It sits on the skin well. It worked well with my primer, but we're going to go ahead and get into it because um, I have done enough talking. Let's Let's get started. I'm going to use my new favorite primer right now, which is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I have been using this pretty much every day since I've got it. I started with a small one to see if I would like it, and I knew shortly after using it um, that I needed to go ahead and get the big one. It just makes my skin just tacky enough where I feel like it is really gripping my makeup like it is holding it to my face for the day and that's how I want my primer to feel like you got my back let's go ahead and get to what we've been waiting for went with the shade 410 Nairobi 410 Nairobi and we're gonna see how this works for me I'm going to I wish it had a pump, not going to lie, because then I can usually control how much I'm supposed to use. I feel like I probably just did too much, um, but we're going to see. I'm going to just... smear this on my face this is not a perfect match um, this is a little bit more orange on me but whoa I think that was a lot for my forehead um, I think it will work once I blend it out and use everything else um, so let's go ahead and blend it out I'm going to use my Sephora brush it is the Pro Core Diffuser, Dome Diffuser number 94. I hardly ever use brushes for foundations unless they are stick foundations, then that's my jam. But this is very similar to the brush that Juvia's Place dropped um, or released. I say drop like it's an album. Um, and so I figured they probably dropped this type of brush, maybe with the thoughts of this foundation is better applied with this type of brush. Um, so I'm going to use this type of brush at least to initiate. I may still go over it with my beauty sponge. Okay, you guys, this foundation, and I'm sure that you've already watched other reviews the way that I have, um, is full coverage. She full. Um, yeah, that's that's really full. So this is the thing about full coverage, and I'm sorry I'm looking in the viewfinder because I'm just it, it's full. Um, the thing about full coverage is that the fuller the coverage, the more important it is that you get your correct shade because when the coverage is not as full and your skin kind of peeks through then that alters the color and it makes it kind of a better match because part of that color is your actual color when coverage is so full that it is now a mask um, 
when that color is not right you can have like a mask line because it's so full it's like it can it can conceal what your true color is but the second that the foundation drops off you will see the line of demarcation and it's like whoa that's my spill on full coverage i'm able to just blend this down just a little bit but this looks really really good i'm looking at my viewfinder i'm looking at my mirror i think you guys saw the the transformation of this being just even all over because it's so full shout out to Juvia's place the finish is supposed to be a soft matte and I'm getting that for sure it's like it's full coverage but not I don't feel like it's cakey when I'm looking in just trying to see if I see any movement in my smile lines this looks good okay now I bought two concealers I have color 13 and number 16 the concealers do not have names the way that the foundations have a name and a number these just have numbers so in the way that the foundation the deeper the color the lower the number so 13 is going to be a little bit deeper than 16. i'm looking at this and i'm i wish i would have gone with 12 and 15 as opposed to 13 and 16. i feel like both of these are just a little bit too light i can make 13 work 16 is like whoa um and i think i will reorder i may even reorder another foundation this works this definitely works it's not like oh I cannot wear this I can but I just want to see if I can get like that spot on when you get that spot on color ain't nothing like it I'm telling you but we're just gonna hit up number 13 right under my eyes the applicator this dofa applicator is so big um, and I like that oh this is creamy This is really creamy. So this color for under my eye, I normally like something warmer than this. This is a, coming off a little bit neutral. Um, I usually go for a golden under eye because, um, you know, my skin under my eye is golden has that golden tone and so I usually try to mimic that with my concealers when I'm highlighting but we're gonna see maybe I may plop a little dab of the 16 um, it does look like it's a little bit has may have a little bit of golden going on there okay I'm put just the lip the teeniest I don't know if that, we're gonna see I don't like to get too crazy under the eye just here okay okay yeah I'm not mad at that I don't think I'm mad at it yet I'm going to let this sit and cook. The longer, and I normally don't let the uh, uh, concealer on my forehead sit. I normally just blend that out as well as the chin. Um, but under my eyes, I let that sit for a while. Um, you just find that you get better coverage. Unless it's a concealer that dries too fast, which I'm not getting that impression. Um, you don't want to do that there. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little 13 on my top lip as well. I normally do that. I don't know how I skipped it. Mm-hmm. I'm blending that out. Right around my mouth. 
Okay, so that should be long enough. I'm going to go ahead and blend out the under eye concealer. I start with the edges just to make sure that they're blended into the foundation. I try not to take the concealer too far. When I blend it, I blend it all the way, but I try not to apply it that far. Okay, so that's blended out around the edges. I blend it out really nicely. Now let's get right under the eye where I have more product. Okay. Okay, that looks really nice. I still want to go back and get the 12 and 15. I think those are have a little bit more gold into them. Um, a little bit more gold. But sometimes, and we're going to see today, if you take a yellower powder, that can help bring back that golden tone. But that blended out really nicely. I am not mad at that at all okay vibrant youth under eye I'm going to take my Huda Beauty um, powder in Kanafa it's pretty yellow and I'm going to take that and set my under eye Um, when this powder first came out, a lot of people talked about the smell because some people are very sensitive to smells of their products. And this does have a very, for me, it's I wouldn't consider it super strong, but it's definitely present, um, like roses type smell or flowers or something like that. But it doesn't bother me, and I don't feel like it follows me the rest of the day. Um, now, Huda Beauty has a setting spray out. Um, something about being a boss, boss, bo resting boss face, resting boss face, I think it is, setting spray. And a lot of people are complaining about the smell, like, like it's making them cough and gag and have asthma attacks and all of this foolishness. I have not smelled it. Um, if you have, please tell me down below what are your thoughts. But then I'm also seeing a lot of people say, like, it's really keeping their face set and I'm like I kind of want to try it because like I said this powder got a lot of complaints that people couldn't tolerate it but is there a smell sure is it enough to make me not like the powder because I really do like this powder um, no obviously not as I'm putting it all over my face no Tell me if you use the spray or if you tested it out and you're like, nah, this ain't for me. Let me know. Because this it's in my cart. I just hadn't given it the green light yet. Okay. I swear I'm not popular until I want to film. I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Powder in Honey. Let's just do that really quickly. I'm not even going to do that with the sponge. I'm going to take my brush. Let me see. What brush is this? Oh, I'm going to take my, um, this is my Peach and Pearl brush with Andrea Renee. I really like this brush. Um, and I'm just going to Take that powder, and I'm just going to swirl. I thought I tapped off more, but swirl that. I feel that the Fenty powder works. It works well for me whether I swirl it and dust it on or if I press it in. Today feels like a swirl kind of day. I just want to kind of touch those areas of the face that I did not set with the Huda Beauty. 
so everywhere I did not conceal. Let's come in. Shut up. What do we think? I think that's really good coverage, you guys. I think it looks good. I really like this. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. Um, and we'll be right back and I'll kind of give you my final thoughts. Mm. Okay, so I am back with the finished look. And you guys, I really like this foundation. Juvia's Place really knocked it out the park with this one. If you are looking for a full coverage foundation that's affordable, you know, it's not exactly drugstore that 10 to 13 dollar range but 20 dollars is not bad for a foundation especially with this kind of coverage um the found the concealer i really like the concealer it's not my absolute favorite concealer and it's hard for me to judge right now if that's due to the color not being the color that i normally go for like i said earlier i like a more golden concealer this was a little bit more neutral for my under eye but it still looks really good um i think if i get that golden undertone that i'm really looking for we might really have a banger here. Um, so I am very, very pleased with the both of these new products from Juvia's Place. And right now, uh, it's still first impressions. I haven't had a chance to wear it all day. So it's hard for me to put, I cannot put my stamp of approval on right now, but this is an, a really great first impression. And I'll definitely be back to let you know what my thoughts and views are on the way that it wears and how it holds up in the future. But for right now, it looks really, really good. Um, so that's kind of all I have on the new Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation, as well as the concealer. Um, you might want to try these out if you're interested. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below. Do you plan on purchasing it? Have you purchased it? Have you already received it? What do you think? Um, and anything else that you want to talk about. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks for making this appointment. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye.